Hello everyone, in this video we want to look at the contact service plugin and with this one we can receive all the contacts of our phone and what we want to do with them is to upload them to Firestore and therefore we first of all start with that we get here the dependencies from pubdev.packages.contact.service and then I go into the project and put them here inside and we also need later permission handler or a flutter simple permissions to handle all the permissions which we need to get the contacts and therefore I also take this permission handler and I go here to the installing section and get the newest dependency and I put it directly here under this dependency and that's all what we need. I already put here some Firebase dependencies inside to upload everything to Firebase. However, I don't want to talk so much about Firebase in this tutorial because I already made some videos about Firebase. So this time we will mainly talk about the contacts. Now we can go back to this contacts service plugin and here inside we also need to set up everything for Android and iOS. So we copy these both here and put them into our Android manifest. So we go here to our Android folder to app source main and here we have our Android manifest and we simply put it here inside of this tag and before the application tag and I formatted it here correctly and now we have here both permissions inside because this is what we need to get the contacts and also if you want to write the contacts. I don't use this permission but if you want to write also the contacts then you can also put it here inside otherwise you can also remove this one so we will only use this one and if you go back to this pub dev then you also see okay we need some configurations for iOS so we need to put this here inside. So we go here instead of Android to our iOS folder and here inside into our runner and then we have here this info plist file and then we paste it here somewhere inside. So after a string key value we put it here inside and then make also sure that you format it here correctly. And that's it what we need to do for the configuration steps. And now we can make use of these examples here. So what we want to do is we want to get our contacts with this method here because it is faster if you don't load also the thumbnails and otherwise you can also load here all the contacts with the thumbnails and you also have later other possibilities to add a contact, to delete a contact, update, but we want to access only the contacts and to upload them to Firebase. So make sure right now to restart your application and now here inside we have two buttons which I have already created. So basically one button for uploading the contacts and another one if the user wants to skip this uploading. And now what we want to do is we want to create here a new file. And here inside we create a new method get contact permission. And now we first of all need to work with the permission handler to get the permissions. Because if you want to upload the contacts you need to get the permissions first of all from the user. So what we are doing here is we want to call this class permission. And here inside of this permission which we need to import this permission handler. There we have different fields what you want to access. So later you can also choose the other things what you want to have access to and we want to have here the access to contacts and therefore we have here the status and we get it to a new variable. So first of all we want to check what is the current status of our permission and now we can check here if our permission is not equals to granted then we want to ask basically for a new permission. So we ask here for this new permission and therefore we go again with the permission class and here again to contacts and this time we have here this method request and with this one we can request the contacts permission and now we simply return it here this permission. So we want to return here our permission status and then we return here this new permission and if we didn't get any permission then we want to return here a permission status undetermined. And yeah, this was if the case is that the permission is not granted. However, if the permission is already granted, then we can directly return here the current permission and we don't need to ask again for the permission. And I also put here this other permission inside. So we also want to make sure that the permission is not denied permanently. And all right, I think this is what we need here. And now we can go again back to our contacts page. And now we want to handle here our contacts and here inside we want to call this method which we have created before. So first of all I write here the init state method because I want that automatically if we go here to the screen 
that the contacts are requested by the user, so the user don't need to press the button by himself. It is automatically inside that we requested. So here inside, I create a new method, which is called ask contacts permission. And then we want to create this method here. And here inside, we want basically to ask for the contacts utils, which we have created before. So this is exactly this class here, which with the method which we have created. And first of all, we want to import this file. And then we ask for the contact permission. And this then returns here this permission status. So I will put it here into a new variable. I call it permission. And now we can ask what we got from the user back. So here we want to put it into a switch so we can go over all the cases which can come back. And I will also create here the missing case clauses. And I think we don't need all of them. And also I don't want to handle these both cases here because I want to handle all of them with the default case. And now we have to handle every aspect. So first of all, if the permission is granted, we want to upload the contacts because we got the contacts from the user. He granted them and therefore we uploaded them now. So first of all, I will create here this new method. Then we also have here this permanently denied. And if this is the case, then we want to skip basically the page and want to go to the home page because the user don't want us to give the contact. Then we go simply to the next page. So I call here this go to home page and we also want to create this method. Then we also have this default case. And if the default case is inside, we simply want to show a snack bar. So I just copy it now here inside because this is like really basic. So we simply have here a scaffold key, which we want to create. And with the scaffold key, we can then show a snack bar here at the bottom, which says, please allow to upload contacts so that the user gets some information. If something went wrong, what happened here? So I will quickly add here at the top this uh, scaffold key. And then we need to put the scaffold key inside of our scaffold with the key property. And now every time we get here a notification if something is going wrong. And here inside, I also need to import here, obviously, the permission handler dart. And then the errors are gone here inside. And the last steps are to implement here these both methods. We implement, first of all, the easy case. So go to home page. And I will put it here inside because this is like really basic. So basically we want to go to a different page, our home page. So I just put here a home page tag inside. So it's not really complicated stuff. And therefore we use this navigator class. So it's a really simple procedure. And now we want to care about the important thing to upload the contacts. And how we do this is by using this contact service from this plugin and therefore we need to import this context service and here inside we get now this get contacts what I have showed you in the beginning and here we want to don't take the thumbnails because then it is faster to get the contacts otherwise he needs to load all the images which is not really fast and here we get the contacts back and I will also put it here into some brackets and return here to a list and now we have here all our contacts and what we want to do with these contacts is to upload them to Firebase. So basically I create here a new Firebase store API and I want to upload the contacts to Firestore. Therefore I put here all the contacts inside and after we have uploaded the contacts, we want to go also to the home page because then we are finished with this page and then he can log in and do all the stuff what he wants to do. All right, I think that's it. So I want also to create this Firebase API so that we can also upload it. So I create here a new folder, which I call API. And then I create a new file, which I call Firestore API. And here inside, I create a new method, upload contacts, and we get here the contacts of our plugin. So make sure to import this contact service. And now here inside, we simply get a reference to our user. So I create here a new reference and I create here this Firebase Firestore instance and I access it here, the collection users. And now we want to simply add here a new user attribute. 
So basically what we want to do is we want to call this ref user and then we want to add our data. So basically right now I put in dummy user insights. So I call it, for example, Alex. And then we also want to put here the contacts inside. And therefore we need these contacts, but we need to put them to JSON. And how we can do this is we go over all of our contacts and now we need to map them to contact to map. And then we return here list. And now this is here our context as JSON. And we want to put these contexts then here inside. And I think I forgot here also the brackets around. So I will put them here inside. And now we have here our contacts uploaded to Firebase. So we also go back here to our context page and I will import this. API which we have created right now and I think that's it what we need to do and I think we can try this application out but before I also want to make this here much better so basically I want to add here a text inside enable app permissions to upload context so that the user gets more information what is going on here and I will also create some space at the top and bottom of this text and now we also want to put an image inside so basically I have put here in this folder assets context this image inside which we want to show so that the user gets some better visual experience and now I set here this image also and we also put here this other text inside so that he knows okay he has to tap allow when it is prompted and then we also put here some space after it inside so I put it here inside and also at the top. And now if you hot restart here our application, you see that he is asking us about the contacts because we have put them here into our init state method, ask for our contacts and therefore we get this dialog directly. And now we can go over all these cases. So if I deny here, then he will show us something in the snack bar. So let's try this case. So here it says, please allow to upload the contacts. And then he can again read this here. And I think here is something wrong. So he didn't get the image. So I also made now sure that I corrected here the assets and then I restart the application. And now I put here also these images inside and I also want to make sure that these both buttons have some functionality. So I also go here to the bottom and I go to the upload context field. So every time we click here on this upload context button, then we want to ask context permission. And in the second case, we want simply to go to the home page. If he clicks on continue, then we don't ask for the contacts anymore. So these were the both cases and now I can hot reload. And now if I press here on upload contacts, then we have here these cases. So I already showed you the deny case and I don't want to deny it and don't ask again right now. But basically he will then go to the home page and now let's also try it out if the case is successful. So if he allows us to upload the contacts, then he will upload the contacts to this Firebase account. So basically right now we don't have here anything inside. So let's test it out. I click here on allow. And for the last step, we also press here on allow. And I think this should not work on the emulator. So great. So let's try this out. Yeah, normally he should go to the next page. And if you try this on your device, then everything should work fine. So he will go here inside and get the contacts of your device. And then he will upload all the contacts to Firestore and go to the next page. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye!